DSI Winner's Circle. Georgia's Augusta National Golf Club is the site for the most sought-after prize in the golf world, the U.S. Masters, which takes place the first week of every April. This by invitation only event is the first major golf tournament on the schedule and is an official major golf tournament stop for the PGA, European and Japanese professional tours. The $8 million prize pool makes the Masters one of the sport's richest purses and winning the Masters is a career changing event that earns winners a place in the sport's history books. It is unique in that is the only tournament that is played on the same course every year. The Masters is comprised of four rounds, with round one play starting on Thursday, round two on Friday, round three Saturday, and the fourth and final round on Sunday. The Masters has a small field of elite players. The world's top 50 get an invite, and the players who have performed well on the tour, winning or placing in other events, may also get an invitation. You should note that the field in the U.S. Masters is very competitive. While it's not always the biggest field in regards to quantity of players, it's one of the toughest in regards to quality of participants. In regards to picking a winner, betters should be looking for a player that excels at driving the ball. Augusta tends to be one of the longer courses on the PGA Tour, and players who can drive the ball further have a higher tendency of winning. Whether you're a rookie who's just getting in, or a veteran who's looking for that extra edge, we've compiled a complete guide on golf betting that will help you win. Among the many proposition bets on the board is to predict a golfer to finish in the top 10. That means that his or her final ranking on the Masters leaderboard has to be in the top 10 positions. This can lead to great payoffs from the odds makers, as obviously only 10 players from the field finish in the top 10. You can also bet on an individual golfer to make the cut. Betting a golfer to make the cut has a greater chance for success than the top 10 because roughly half the field makes the cut, but the payoffs are significantly less. The cut refers to the elimination of the lower half of the field. So at the midpoint of the tournament, which is 36 holes for the Masters, the players who have the best scores continue and the players in the lower half of the field go home. Handicappers and beginners alike love this prop bet because sometimes it's hard to predict the exact winner of a tournament. It's easier to see who is more likely to have success on a specific course. Also, certain players do a great job of staying near the top of the leaderboard, but struggle to close. The PGA Tour keeps stats on top 10 finishes, so that can give you a good indication as to who might be a good pick with this type of prop bet. If your master's betting action is on a player to win the tournament, your margin for error is small, but this is without question your chance at the biggest payout. The math is quite simple. For a player to win, they have to make the cut, finish in the top 10, and beat everyone in the field. While this might seem like picking a needle out of a haystack, there is a science to it. Certain golfers excel on certain courses. Players who do well with the putter thrive on shorter courses. Hard hitters will excel on courses that play long. You can get some great insight from the stats on the official PGA Tour website to see who is best at driving distance, greens and regulation, and putting. The best part is that since the Masters odds makers pay a nice payout for each player, you can even bet on two or three and still take home a big payoff if one of them comes through. Golf odds are on the board right now at BetDSI.com, so get in the game, make some wagers, and we'll see you in the winner's circle.